and welcome to the Live Lab of Glasgow Science Centre. My name is Craig and today we're going to talk about charge. Now to help us do this, uh, we have our Van der Graaff generator, but before we tell you how that works, we're going to have to talk about atoms. So atoms make up everything and are incredibly small. They're so small that if you were to write a sentence and put a full stop at the end of that sentence, you could fit three million atoms side by side in that full stop. Atoms are made up of three particles called protons, neutrons and electrons. In the middle of an atom, there's something called a nucleus, which is made up of protons and neutrons. Protons carry a positive charge, whereas neutrons carry a charge of zero, or a neutral charge. Orbiting around our nucleus are negatively charged electrons, which are free to move between atoms, and it's actually how we can generate our electricity. Now, most atoms want to remain in a neutral state, which means they have the same number of positive protons and negative electrons. However, if you take away a negative electron, then it turns the entire atom positive. And this is how our Van der Graaff generator works. The Van der Graaff generator has four main parts. It has a belt, a metal comb, a metal dome, and a metal wand. How it works is when it's switched on, the belt will spin around very, very fast and will brush up against the metal comb. In doing so, the comb will scrape away electrons from the belt causing it to become positively charged. Now the belt wants to go back to being in a neutral state, so it steals electrons from the metal dome above it. And that will make the metal dome positively charged as well. However, there's nowhere for the metal dome to steal electrons from to go back to a neutral state. That is until I bring the metal wand near our dome. So let's find out what happens. So what are you seeing are little sparks of electricity. So these are electrons jumping from the metal wand towards the metal dome. You can also have the Van de Graaff steal electrons from other materials, including pythons. And human beings. Remember that when you steal electrons from atoms, they become positively charged. However, positive charges want to push away from each other, meaning our pythons fly off into the air, and Susie's hair stands up and spreads out. Now, I know what you're thinking, that you don't have a Van de Graaff generator in your house or at your school, but you can still investigate charge by using a simple balloon. What you need is a volunteer, and when you rub the balloon on top of the hair, you actually are stealing electrons away from the hair, turning the hair positively charged, or making the hair positively charged. You're also gathering all the electrons on the balloon, making it negatively charged, so that when you lift the balloon up, all the hair gets attracted towards the balloon. You can also use the balloon to try and pull or push other materials, like paper, polystyrene balls, pie tins, and soft drinks cans. So there you have it, investigating charge. If you'd like to see and like to try the experiment for yourself, then please take some photographs and videos and tweet us at, at GUC1, or you can have a look at other experiments on our YouTube page. Otherwise, thank you much for watching.